Oh, it works. Nice. What's up, guys? This is Crow 1176. And as you can see here, we're in downtown San Diego. And our first stop is going to be there. Super 7. Wow, look at that. That's Petco, huh? Yes. There's a lot of action in that thing. Like what? Action. <laughs> All right, let's go. So, Super 7 is known for selling like uh, He Man figures, different kind of stuff, but mostly like they took over the line of Maddie Collector and started selling like He Mans and stuff like that. Like, look at their window. Here, I'll go. You could go ahead, baby. Look, you see what I'm talking about? See that? Oh, this is cool. This is so raw. Oh, hi. You don't mind if I record? It's just, oh, all right, cool. It's from my channel, so. That is so cool. Oh, the giant. This is a star. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm taking that. I'm taking that one. Yeah. The, uh, no, many faces, that one. What's the price? No, it's okay. You can, you can pick it up. I'm taking them. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right, look at this, guys. Look at the Hellboys. If you guys have any questions about anything, Ah, for sure, for sure. Uh, it, different kind of stuff, but mostly my channel is like, uh, I do like projection screens. Cool. Okay. Right? And um, I do some here and there, like things that I like to like review and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. It's not, I mean, I only had it for two years. I only have like 6,000 followers barely. So. That's somewhere. Right? Yeah. But, but yeah. I mean, if uh, we're from LA, so. Oh, so, <laughs> so I'm yeah, 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 yeah. I'm here for my birthday, so I was like, ah, let's go check it out. Thanks, man. I feel the wallpaper too. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Like any good master. Uh, yes. This is nice. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Yeah. Did you guys order that? Um. Yeah, we, we got that uh, uh, custom made for the stores, and we sell it as well. So. Pretty cool. Really. Mm hmm. We just had it professionally put up for us. Yeah, because we're all a bunch of knuckleheads. Uh, yeah, no, I would, I would probably do the same thing, <laughs> man. That. So what is it like? Kind of like like a vinyl or something? Like uh, the the glue on the back or something? Or what? what do you it, use? It's kind of like the typical wallpaper glue, like where it's really really sticky. Uh -huh. So it's like if if you don't do it right the first time, you're kind of screwed out. Oh, of okay, too. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. How much does that cost, though? Um, what are the prices? It on? actually depends on the square inch, but then we also sell by rolls. Mm -hmm. So like our small, our single roll would be one twenty. Oh okay. And, like and that covers what like uh. Thirty three square feet. Ooh, that's not bad, huh? Mm -hmm. What a lot of people have done too. I I did this even before I worked for the company. Uh huh. Um, I have a strip of it, and I framed mine. But oh. instead of putting glass in the frame. I leave it open so that you can still feel the flocking. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it, and it looks really cool. It's a great that. backdrop for my Masters of the Universe collection. And it's always kind of neat because when people realize, like if they come to my house and they realize it's flocked, 
they kind of like to touch yeah. it. So. Yes, yeah, yes. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I mean, you know. But then it has the original characters. None of this. Sure. Yeah, and, you know. And the villains, which everybody yeah. loves more when it comes to Masters of the Universe. Yes. But, um. Because I don't like the reboots of, like, Masters of the Universe, like, you know, like. The newer yeah. version is in like 2000. It's, I, like, I really like the 2002 stuff as far as story content, but as far as the classic look, nothing yeah. beats the old. Because I, I, I just, stuff. it's like, yes, exactly. Because you know? mm-hmm. the swords were too futuristic for me, I guess. I, I don't they, know. I just, they leaned a little heavy into the sci fi. Yeah. Whereas Masters of the Universe, what makes so it cool good. is it's sci fi, it's fantasy, and it's um, sword and sorcery. Uh huh. So it's got that little bit of Lord of the Rings, that little bit of Star Wars, and that little bit of Conan. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what makes Masters of the Universe work is there really is something for everybody. Castle Grey Scar is nice. Oh, but that's cool, man. I didn't even know you guys were here, Ted. Oh, thanks for uh, finding us then. Thanks for popping yeah. in. I just put like best comic store around or toy store and then you guys popped up. I'm like, oh, yeah. numero uno. Okay, let's There's go. There's <laughs> comic book store over on 11th and F. They just okay. opened up like two months ago. They're called uh, Now or Never. Awesome, awesome store. What do they sell? Uh, comics, toys, collectibles, yeah. whole nine yards. Marvel stuff and all yeah. that stuff, yeah. They're, t- um, they're two floors. Their top floor is all vintage toys. Oh, really? It's so yeah. cool. It's so much fun. Nice. How much do you have your uh, your figures here? Um, so our reaction figures, which is, well, that right there is our classic style. Those are yeah. $35. Okay. Uh, the reaction figures, which is this style here, those are 15 the muscle three packs; those are six. Muscle, wow. Yeah. Okay. So, which I'm currently. Yes, yes, today. man. So, check it out. And your name? TJ. TJ, thank and you, man. Gene. Gene, awesome, man. Yeah, you guys are you awesome. See it up there. Collection of robots up there. Yeah. I see you have that Maddie Collector uh, Voltron, right? Oh, is yeah. it? Is it? Yeah. Have you ever put it together? Yes, and it looks really good together, but it's super flimsy together. It's not that great, huh? No, I. I think visually it's great. I think if you're gonna play with it or do poses, it it's it leaves a little to be desired. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Honestly, when it comes to the Maddie Clicker Voltron, it's so much cooler in lion form. Wow. Uh, okay. Because then you get to use the pilots. Yes. You know. But it's so, so expensive, man. I was trying to get it, and yeah. I was like, oh man. Um, Maddie Clicker was doing really cool stuff at that point too. I mean, between DC Universe Classics, Voltron, WWE Legends, mm-hmm. Ghostbusters. You know, they were really... Uh, and what happened, man? It just, it they just... I think it just got to be too much for them. Yeah. Wow, mm-hmm. really? Yeah, Mattel's still blowing out a bunch of the Maddie Collector stuff into, like, GameStop and, yeah. like, uh, Target, Five Below, all wow. these, a lot of those stores. That is so cool, though. Look at that. For, what, for whatever it's worth, though, as far as the modern Voltron toys over the years, uh-huh. that's the best one for the Lions. Like, in Lion form. You don't like the best thing, uh, the best one that came out, just, they, they were selling them in Target, I believe. Oh, yeah, there Individual, was the Voltron uh, 84 line. 84. Yeah. Did you like that? I felt those were fun. Yeah. And the Voltron itself stayed together better. Yes. Uh, not as well. The, the newer version didn't, you know, no. from the, Netflix. The, the Netflix the, Voltron, yeah. no, but the Voltron 84. Yeah, that, that one, yeah. I, I bought that, yeah. Yeah, I, that was I, a slam dunk. I saw them all there, and I was like, oh, I'm taking them. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. But this is cool. I know you're coming up with new um, Adam, right? Yep, we have an, another Prince Adam coming in the next uh, one of the next waves of the filmation line, the Club Grayskull. And you will have them here. Uh, hopefully, we always fulfill our pre-orders first uh-huh. to make sure that anybody who pre-ordered online gets them. But whatever is left over, we tend to get in here. And I don't want to say for sure, but we usually end up pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so this is, I'm taking this one for sure. Gotcha, man. All right. Yeah. I don't know about this smiling. Oh, it's so much fun. (laughs) Wow, they made him smile. Remember when he used to smile? Yeah. yeah. Even the box is glittered. Yeah. You know what? I'm just going to take him because I'm going to take him. (laughs) Yeah. All right. This is cool. Excuse me. I wonder if you're ever going to make a Ram Man by any chance. We did a Ram Man for um, the Ultimate Classics, which was just a repaint of the Classics Ram Man. Okay. It's right there. It's a mini comic repaint. 
Hopefully, we'll get to do a random. Yeah, but that style. one, I think that one was the best one. Huh? I love that toy. It was one of the first things to sell out of from that line. Yeah, yeah. that's so the good. The first Ram Man that Mattel did for yeah. Six is like triple digits in the aftermarket, so I'm not surprised that he sold that for us first. Oh, yeah. Was that one? I mean, now it goes for what? Like, Faker, a, like Faker's, over, Faker's like, forget it. It's yeah. just. Here, let me crack this open for you. So yeah. You get some good job. All right. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. Look at that. Yeah, other than the vintage gray skull and the vintage snake mm -hmm. mountain in there, everything in there we've produced. Really? But this line is pretty cool. The Filmation line yeah. is really cool. Yeah, the Filmation cool, line is a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> I used to have the one with the slime. Oh, the Snake slime. Mountain. That was so good. Yeah. 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 You know, if you're doing the Filmation stuff too, one mm -hmm. of the things that I thought was really cool that we did, uh huh, because uh, you're doing specifically just that style. Yeah. So we did a dial mug figure from Shira, and if you look at his horde crest, it's the filmation style. Yeah. And what's cool though is he comes with an interchangeable one. So if you do classics, it has a classic style horde crest. Oh, it or comes you can do the in filmation. Uh, really? So you can fit him in either of your collections. So I think that's super cool. Yeah, that's not bad. Like at if all, you no. look, this is you know the traditional. Horde uh, yes. symbol. Yes. And then there's the filmation the one. Filmation one. He yeah. comes with both of them. Oh, really? Yeah. The other one's on the side of the. Yeah, box. I see it. That's pretty cool, man. But yeah, that was one of my favorite accessories for that. So like that, they don't have to redo it. It's just change the. You just change it out. Yeah. It has a third one where it's like the laser beam coming out of it too. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool, man. I love that figure. Also, I mean, all the changing faces. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's that? why. That's why he's my favorite. Many faces. Many so faces. Yeah. Cool. I know that. Uh, how do you change it? How do you change the faces on that? On one? this one, it yeah. just spin it on the top, just like the classic toy. Oh, really? It, mm -hmm. it does have that. Yeah, okay. it has the mechanism. Okay. Okay. Because I know in the other one you had to not on the classic, but the other one you had to take off something or something. On the on the Matty Collector one. You only took it off because it came, instead of with three heads, it came with six heads. Okay. There was um, human face, robot, and monster for uh -huh. the classic Manny faces. And then there was a second head where it's He-Man, Skeletor, Orko. Yeah. Oh. So that was kind of cool, too. That was cool. Yeah, that was pretty cool. But I love ours especially, too, because he comes with other accessories. Like, that gun right there.